YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the Goat House. Mm. What was that? that was just like you're a, you're amped. That was, that was for like Teddy a, Two Gloves. He's the free agent we're talking about yeah. today. Where will he go? You'll find out in this video before free agency even starts. You will find out. Mm -hmm. Guaranteed. Guarantee label right on the box or the video. Our stamp of approval. Right, right. Uh, so basically, we have a bunch of landing spots here. We're going to remove them one by one by taking turns uh, until we're left with a final landing spot. Sometimes we disagree. Sometimes we have multiple options here. So a lot to get through here for Teddy Bridgewater. But first, our Twitter and our Instagram. Links in the description. Lots of good content on those. Always talking about the NFL, NFL draft on Twitter. Check it out. Back to Teddy. So you got the Redskins. They could be in the market for a quarterback with Alex Smith injury at the Jags. Jags kind of been linked to Teddy. Everyone's always talking about, you know, they should have drafted Teddy and then uh, they should get Teddy when they were able to. And a, lot, a lot of talk about that. Uh, the Giants could use a quarterback. Shermer's over there. He's over there. He coached them up. <clears throat> uh, the Bengals could be in the market for a quarterback. The Saints just had him. They just traded a pick for him. The Dolphins in the market for a quarterback. The Vikings used to have him. They drafted him in the first round. They could be looking for a solid backup. The Patriots could be looking for the guy of the future. And the Panthers may need a guy right now because Cam Newton is hurt. But anybody would like to start us off, go ahead. Well, I just got to say my dream scenario team is not up here. Who's that? Why well, I, I had a dream scenario in my brain that the Steelers don't trade AB, let Big Ben go and bring in Teddy because Teddy and AB. Not letting Big Ben go. Get I, out of here. This was my dream scenario. That's why it's okay. a dream scenario. All right. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take off the Vikings. Interesting. I think that's a little early. I think it's a money thing because Teddy's gonna get paid. You think he's gonna get paid? I think he's gonna. He's not gonna get. He's not gonna get crazy money, but he's gonna get more than what he's proven. Is what I think. Okay. So I, I don't think the Vikings are in the market to spend more money on a quarterback. I will take off the Patriots. That would be very interesting, but I'm taking I'd them like off. I like that. But. I think they would have traded for him by now if they really mm -hmm. thought he was the – because they, they're, they're on top of their game. Like if they, there's a quarterback available for them to get they really, really like, they're going to go and get him. There hasn't been that guy yet. They may like one in this draft or maybe in this free agency. But they had opportunities to get some of these guys like Teddy. I think they would have done it already. You know, they're, they're a team that goes out there and gets it done. But maybe they're waiting for this moment. But I think most likely not. We'll see. That'll be very interesting. What do you got, Pete? Oh, uh, we're going to take the Bengals off. Taking the Bengals off. He would look ugly in a Bengals uni. Yeah, let's not see it. He's not seeing it? Am I up? I guess so. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take... We'll go ahead and take the Giants off here. Oh, even with Shermer there? Even with Shermer there, I got to take them off. I'm just, I'm just, I might be buying into the draft hype, but I'm like convinced in my brain that the Giants are drafting a quarterback. They could very well do it. Right. I, that, think... I think I bought into it. Okay. Okay. That's all I got. I'm going to take the Jags off. I, he seems to be linked a lot to the Jags over the years even too, and I always said that was just ridiculous because they liked Bortles better than Bridgewater. In the draft process, a lot of teams in the free agency process rely on their draft, like what their takes were on these players in the draft. That's how it works. So they like Bortles that much better than Bridgewater. They're not just going to magically think Bridgewater's better than Bortles. Like I, that's just the reason they never went and got him. I'm not saying 100% not happening, but um, I never really understand the understood the hype. You know, they probably still think Bortles is might be the better quarterback. I think they would think that. I think they would just because like. In terms of like health and even you know, if they don't, they know it's play. pretty close. So they think it's pretty close. So they're gonna for them to win a championship, which they're in that mode right now. Uh, I think they, they want to go get somebody much better. There for sure is better. Mm -hmm. So I think the Jags need to come off there. Who's up here, Pete? Uh, Redskins. You take the Redskins off? Yeah. I think yeah, I think it could happen with any of these teams. It could happen, but. I like the other three teams better. Yeah, I think these these would be my top three teams as well. I think the Saints, they traded for them, so maybe yeah. they feel like they, you know, I don't I don't see the Saints as a team like a third round pick. I mean, it's yeah, it's a, I mean, it's they a think good, highly of them. Good, I think yeah, it's a good pick right there. They do like Taysom Hill. Uh, I think he fits with the Dolphins. I think they they definitely can use him. I think he would start. 
Um, he's actually from Miami too. Not that that's why he would go there, but I thought that was interesting. And the Panthers I like a lot too. Um, they actually have Norv Turner over there as the offensive coordinator, and he was the Vikings offensive coordinator when Teddy was there. So that's interesting. It's actually hard to. I thought I was very confident about one team, but it's actually tough. I got my pick. To narrow it down to one team here. What's your pick? I am saying he re-signs in New Orleans. Wow. Reason being. Reason being. As of right now, <clears throat> when, as the time we're recording this, Tannehill has not been released or cut. And uh, the Dolphins, so he could be walking into another situation where he's got to compete. Uh, in Carolina, he's walking into a situation where we don't know how long Cam's out, but we're guessing at least majority of next year probably. So if Cam's out, and then as soon as Cam's back, he's, what, on the bench? But well, if he goes to back to the Saints, it's literally Breeze has got one more year, and then he's done. This team is yours. One year. I think he may get a one-year deal no matter where he goes because he still needs to prove it, that he can stay healthy and he can play. I know for there's no doubt in my mind he, before he got that big injury in Minnesota that he can play. But, you know, sitting out and having an injury, uh, we don't really know right now. So I think it's going to be a one-year deal pretty much. Maybe the Dolphins would give him a couple years, but if it was the Panthers, I think it would be a one year for sure. And he would have a perfect like little chunk to prove it. Yeah, I mean, I maybe, maybe he's sick teams. of proving it. Maybe he wants that that. Maybe offer. he thinks he's proving it. Yeah, maybe he wants that offer. That's a multiple year. That's yeah. why. That's why you're taking. I'm taking the Dolphins. Ooh, you think? He's, yeah, he would get paid by them. So you're taking the Saints. You're taking the Dolphins. <laughs> I was leaning towards the Panthers because I think Norv Turner is going to want him. Uh, but he, in his, in Teddy's eyes, he probably thinks he's the backup because he know he knows Cam Newton is the former MVPs, and maybe he'll be even be able to play this year too. So maybe that won't appeal to Teddy all that much, even though Norv Turner being there might be appealing. So that's how I was kind of feeling the whole time. But I don't know. Yeah, now I'm kind of. Uh, it's tough. The I Saints think traded for. Him. I would be surprised if it's not one of these three teams. The Saints. If I'm the Saints. You trade for you don't give up a third round pick if you're not bringing them back. Yeah, but you've seen them in the they're whole insane. year in practice, and then in that last game, maybe you don't I, like them. I I think no, I think that's true. But like, I think the Dolphins are offer him more, and like he's in a guaranteed start this this year. Yeah, but if he knows that, if the if he gets offers from both the Saints and the Dolphins, and the Dolphins is like a lot more, I think he goes to the Saints. The Dolphins a lot more. If, yeah, I think he goes to the Saints. I don't think so. It's his home, he knows, it's his he, hometown. He yeah, but he knows player. in one year he's going to have a better team than the Dolphins will have yeah, in one Dolphins year. Dolphins are building a pretty solid team. But offensively, offensively the Saints have more weapons to yeah, make him look Taysom, better. He knows that Taysom Hill situation. He doesn't know it's guaranteed. He's yeah. going to have to mess Taysom Hill play, plays everything. But, like, he's, he's, yeah, not quarter, yeah, he's not their quarterback of the future. Yeah, but he's not their quarterback of the future. But he may be annoyed that Taysom Hill comes in and he comes out for random plays. You saw Flacco when Lamar Jackson came in. I think Teddy's got a little better – personality in terms of like I mean he just wants to game. play yeah he yeah. loves the game he wants to play I think these are the three teams it's really hard for me to pick one because I was really feeling the Panthers I was very confident but as we started talking um, I think he yeah I'm kind of going towards the Dolphins way I think he he would in his mind he would start it's his hometown he could get a good could get a good amount of money I think he fits there too I mean, he has his former teammate Devontae Parker there which he could be cut but if they bring in Teddy, they shouldn't cut him. They might as well give that a chance with one more year left on Devontae Parker's contract. Um, and that was his favorite target at Louisville. So I think a lot of that makes sense. Um, it's hard for me to pick a team. I'm really confident that it would be one of these three, team, these three teams. I think it would be very shocking. It would be very shocking to me if it wasn't one of these three teams. Um, By the end of these videos, we're going to have like five teams still up there. Like, it's going to be one of these teams. Yeah. <laughs> they have all three Yeah, teams. that's why I feel it's weird not one picking them. one here, but – well, me and me and Junior got picked, so you got Saints and Dolphins. Yeah, it's tough because I always like sticking with my gut feeling. My gut feeling was Carolina was was Carolina, but I think Cam Newton being I think it's not ruled. I think, I think that's third choice for sure. I think the Saints or the Dolphins. I think Cam Newton he could even play Week One this year. Like, and Teddy might know that. So, um, no and I way. I think he could do it. I think it's a possibility. And Teddy knows it's it's not his team. It's still yeah. Cam's team, even if Teddy's in there. Yeah, but if, if you said – if you like you said, if Teddy's getting that one-year deal, if I'm Teddy and I – what if Teddy feels like he still needs to prove it? We don't know. If Teddy has that in his mind, that's a perfect situation for him to walk into. 
I think if he ends up on the Panthers, it's because a team like the Dolphins or the Saints didn't even offer him. Which is possible. It'd be it's possible. crazy, but it's possible. Because I think the it's not like the only team really interested last year was was the well the Vikings were interested, but they didn't have enough money, and the Jets were really the only team. So the Saints would be the other one, next one. The so, Jets traded them so easily, though. There had to be different offers. That just means the Saints gave them the best. They had to have gotten more offers than just the Saints. Yeah. Um, Will that do it? Yeah, I, I kind of wanted to make a pick, but I really don't know. I, I just think, because I, I was feeling the Panthers. It's just, a, it, if he ends up on the Panthers, it's because he didn't get, like, starter money or starter offer. But I think, I, I'm trying to figure out if he does or not, because, like, he hasn't really, he didn't look good when he played this year, but it was the first time he's played in a long time. Um, I'm kind of feeling the Dolphins now. I, I My gut, original gut was the Panthers, but I'm kind of feeling the Dolphins now. You picked the Saints, so... Um, there's our picks right there. Mm-hmm. You would th- you would think the Saints would be interested still. I would. Yeah, I mean, that's I'm, my pick is coming from a place of just logic. I would hope. No, I think it's down. I think it's yeah. down to these two teams. Yeah, but. yeah. It's all, about, it, it's all about Teddy. I mean, he gets, he gets to choose really. Yep. Yeah. Maybe he goes back home to the Vikings. Probably not. Or back home to Miami. Maybe go back to the Vikings. No. The Kirk Vikings. Cousins, Kirk Cousins is a guy. He's not even hurt either. Yeah. He's not even going to get a chance to play. I think if he ended up there, like, you really have no offers. Like, it'd be like. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see when he offers. signs. It might take some time, this one. A lot of these guys, the last few free agents are like, you know, pretty much the day of it starts. This one might take a little time. Because Teddy's is the biggest question mark. Yeah. Because nobody knows. Yeah. You don't know if he can still play healthy. Nobody knows. Nobody knows how that knee's doing. Yeah. Who's the new offense coordinator for the for the Dolphins? Oh, Jim Caldwell is Caldwell. I don't know if he's Teddy's really a Caldwell guy. It's tough. I don't know if Turner is. He's with the Panthers. Kind of going back to the Panthers. We'll see. It's gonna be fun. Can't wait. Uh, can't wait for this free agency. Can't wait for the draft. We cover all of it. Cover it on our Twitter, and Instagram too. Check those out. Link in the description. Twenty K is our subscriber goal. Please click that subscribe button if you haven't quite yet. Clicking the like button, we much, much appreciate it as well. That's going to do it for this one, though. Plenty more of these free agency prediction videos on the way. Plenty on the channel already. Thanks, everyone. for Yeah, and thanks, everyone, for watching. That'll do it. Goodbye.